The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Welcome to another Goldmine 101, our regular series of short presentations, giving you hints and tips for getting the most out of Goldmine Serum. And in this session, I'm going to cover primary email addresses in Goldmine. So hello, my name is Tim Wilmot and my company, Wizard Systems, we're a specialist CRM solutions provider who help out mainly small businesses improve their sales, productivity, marketing and customer service through the use of simple and affordable solutions like Goldmine. So this presentation will be about 10 minutes or so in duration. There's not a lot to primary email addresses, but it is an important um, concept uh, in Goldmine to be aware of. Uh, but my company was a system. We offer lots of uh, training options and support options if you want to explore that with us. The audio part of this presentation is one way only. If you've got a question um, concerning this or, or anything to do with Goldmine, pop that into the question box on your meeting control panel, and I'll do my best to answer that at the end. Uh, also, at the end, um, this event being the 31st of March 2021, I will give you an update on any current Goldmine product news for you to keep you up to date. And this call is being recorded. Afterwards, you will get an email from our system with a link to recording uh, that you can play back whenever you want to. And also we'll post up on our YouTube channel as well. So let's just get started then. Brief mention about Wizard Systems. We're a long-standing provider of CRM solutions, including Goldmine. We don't just do Goldmine, but Goldmine is a key product in our in our portfolio, and we provide any service around Goldmine, the product, upgrades, implementation, integrations with other applications, training, and customer support. We've got a, a fully manned, permanently manned Goldmine help desk ready to answer your calls. Okay, so let's get into Goldmine and just talk around primary email addresses. So anyone that's been using Goldmine for a good length of time will be familiar with Goldmine being a contact centric system. So when you put your records in, they are they are contact records and you are invited to to um, put it put in the, the contact name, the primary contact, as Goldmine likes to call it for this company. So in this example here, ABC Pharma, Tim Wilmot is the primary contact at that company at this point in time. And there we have email address. So when you pop in an email address, that will be the first primary email address, timothywilmot at gmail.com in this example. So whenever I email this client, that will be the default email that comes up for that contact record. Of course, Goldmine allows you to type in multiple email addresses for this contact. Um, so this primary contact could have additional email addresses. So as new emails come in, you can add them in there. Uh, when you link in the email and the email address to this contact record, Goldmine will do that for you as you, as you receive emails. Um, but also you can click on the email address, wherever the email address is displayed there, I can click on that. And that pops up a window here where I can manage all of the email addresses for this contact. So if I did have another email, another primary email address for this contact, I could create a new one here. There is this little checkbox in the top left corner that might be a, a small time saver for you. So it's selected that domain address there. Um, in this example, gmail.com was the was the one that I had before. Uh, but if it was ABC Pharma Limited .co .uk, it would auto fill that. So it save you a little bit of time. The cursor is flashing there to to invite you to type in a new email address. So you could pop that in there. And that might be the new primary email address for this contact. If it is, you can click that and click OK job done. That will be the now the new primary email address for this contact. There are some rare occasions where Goldmine or a user has not selected a primary email address for that contact. 
Um, so let me just show you what happens there. So you will get this appearing as you flick through your record, you'll, you'll come across this against the email address. It, it'll say click to select. Um, well, obviously you're, you're, you're gonna click in that select, but you've gotta be careful that that because there's no primary email address selected for this contact, it might, when we email this contact, it might pick up, well, it will pick up the first email address in this, which may be the wrong email address for this contact. We also wanna make sure that the contact name and the primary email address, they match each other because it is possible to say with Goldmine 2, enter in multiple email addresses per contact. So just be aware of that. So having that primary email address um, is very important to keep that up to date. And, and also lots of other operations in Goldmine will, will be selecting this primary email address. So there is, when you create email templates, when you create reports in Goldmine, when you create a Word template or Word form or something in Excel, and you want to um, insert, auto-populate the form or template, the, the document with the, with the primary email address. There is a macro, you, there, there is a macro use for this, it's called ampersand email address, all one word. That will pick up this primary email address. So another reason for making sure that's correct. If you're gonna be doing an export from Goldmine, if you're gonna be doing any other reporting, that will pick up that primary email address. So just be just just be vigilant that as you flick through your records, making sure that that is the correct email address for the primary contact on your record. Now, those um, active Goldmine users out there, you'll be familiar with with additional contacts in Goldmine. So you've got primary contacts, the main the main contact for this contact record. Uh, or organization, and then you have additional contacts. And when you when you have these additional contacts, when you do the swap with primary, um, you actually swap the additional contact for the primary contact if for any reason the primary contact has left or there's been a, a change of personnel or, or promotional or whatever. Um, you can move these, you can swap these um, these contacts around. That will take in this example, it would take Mary. It would take Mary Brown's email address here. Mary Brown will be the primary contact, and Mary Brown's email address will be the primary contact. That all works really well with Goldman, so you don't need to worry about anything happening there. Uh, it is possible to have, so it is possible to have multiple email addresses in the Goldmine system per contact record. But with your additional contacts, there is only one email address associated with that. So just touching on additional email addresses a little bit, um, as you get new email addresses coming in, um, and for your for your um, additional additional contacts, so you get a new email address coming in. If you want to associate that with one of your additional contacts, you can click on the drop down list there, select Mary Brown, and Mary Brown will now have the Amazon. Um, email address in this example. So there you are, uh, a quick run through of primary email addresses. Very, very important in Goldmine, um, the, the way that Goldmine works with the primary contact and the additional contacts. Just a few things to be aware of there to keep things up to date for you. So that when you do any mailings from Goldmine, your day to day ad hoc mailings, reporting, creating templates, you are gonna get the right email address as you expect to uh, go into that form or report. Right, so uh, as we normally do on sessions like this, if you've got any questions around this feature, pop that into the questions section on your meeting control panel. I think there's only one here this morning from Sub well, actually, there's a couple. Uh, Sebastian, uh, will Goldmine allow duplicate email addresses? We have occasions where there are email addresses like info at, sales at, et cetera. Yes, we've been asked this quite a few times before. Uh, Goldmine, like many other CRM systems, will not allow duplicate email addresses because that's deemed as 
a unique thing for that contact. Again, Goldmine being a contact centric system, but there is a workaround to that. We do have, um, there is a, a little option, just takes a few seconds to implement to allow duplicate email addresses. We'll, we'll, it's, it's something we don't normally advise because you can get into issues where email's coming in and you've got multiple, because, because incoming emails want to find an email address to link it to. If you've got multiple contact records with info at against them, when a new email comes in, it's going to select the first info at it comes to. So it may be linked to, in your eyes, the wrong, in inverted commas, the wrong contact record. Goldmine has, has done what, you, what you've asked it to do. It's linked it to info at, but if you've got a, a, another second or third info address lurking in the database somewhere further down the sequence of email addresses, well, Goldmine just finds the first one, plonks it against that one, and it won't be visible against the other one. So just be aware of that. So yes, it can do it, and we will email you um, details of that. Uh, yeah, another question from Sebastian. Can you export additional and primary email addresses together? Yes, you can. We've got a little dashboard uh, which we can share with you to do that. Um, if you are, if the purpose of this is to do a mailing, Sebastian, then with the um, with Goldmine's link to Constant Contact and IntelliClick, that those systems will do that anyway. So you don't need to worry about that. But if it's for some other purpose, let us know, and there is a way of exporting this information for you. Right, don't think there's any more questions coming through. Just to keep you up to date with latest news. So as we are still in semi-lockdown in the UK, all our training is, is online at the moment. So if you've got any requirements for training or instruction with Goldmine, we'd be happy to um, discuss that with you. And we will set up the call arrangements for you and we can record the session as well so please let us know if you've got any training requirements the latest release came out on the 10th of march 2021 this is another 20 2020.1 20, so 2020.1 20, is how the um version numbers go and then we have like these mini um, hot fixes that come out in between the main the main updates. So this one is ends in one seven two, came out on tenth of uh, March. We'd advise not to upgrade um, if you're using Goldmine Web. There is a, an issue with emailing in Goldmine Web, the Goldmine Web component, Goldmine. So um, please contact our support for full details of this. But just hold fast until Goldmine. Um, issue a fix, which will be another um, another of these hot fixes here, uh, which is due soon. Um, so you're good to go on that as long as you're not you're not a heavy user of Goldmine Web. We'd advise uh, sticking on a 2019 version for that. Right, uh, there are some special offers around on maintenance. The only way of getting an update to Goldmine is to make sure a maintenance contract. So. Um, please contact us for details on that. And if you've got any suggestions for future goldmine topics, something short like this um, that would be of interest, do you think, to other goldmine users, please uh, contact us or contact me, Tim Wilmot, tim at wizard-system.com. Love to consider it for future sessions. So that's the end of our session. Um, the the um, covering primary email addresses and a little bit on additional uh, email addresses there in Goldmine. Hopefully that's of interest to you and, and clarifies how Goldmine stores and interprets email addresses for you to make sure your system is always up to date. Um, thanks for the, those listening live. Thanks for watching. If you're listening to recording, thanks for watching and we'll catch up with you on the next session. Bye-bye.